You know that you want to play God of War on Batocera. Perhaps you tried to configure it, but you have repeatedly failed. The question is, can you play God of War and the majority of your Windows games in the Steam version of Batocera? Well, today we're going to find out and I believe you will be delighted with the results. Are you ready? Let's do it. <music> Greetings, everyone. And welcome to Bata Center Nation. So delighted they could join us today. Today's video is going to be an update on Steam. In fact, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to get more Windows games compatible with the Steam version of Batocera. So, let's get to it. So, on your Batocera system, go ahead and press F1. And from there, go to Applications. Go to Flatpak Config. Uh, and then make sure that your Steam has been updated to the latest version, okay? You'll see a button here if it needs to be updated. So make sure everything is updated. Once you update it, then next thing I want you to do is go ahead and type Proton. Hit Enter. Uh, and then you're going to see these community bills, okay? This one is crucial. So go ahead and install that one. You also may want to install these here. These don't work right now, but they may work later on. So go ahead and install this one, this one, this one, uh, and that should do it. All right. Yes. And then you can show details to see how far you're into it. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all of this. All right, so everything is installed. You can see that I've got Proton 6.3-8, 7.0, and this GE Proton 7-8-2, okay? So those three install, but this is the one that's going to be the main one right here, all right? After you install everything, go ahead and close it. And from there, just go ahead and reboot because if you don't reboot, I notice that sometimes the audio doesn't work in Steam. So just go ahead and just reboot everything before you proceed with anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to load up Steam. I also forgot to mention that if you're running your Batocera system on a discrete graphics card, like a NVIDIA or AMD card, uh, if you see there's an update for your particular card, NVIDIA right here, just go ahead and update it. You can see here these green buttons, and that tells you you need to update these right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, turn these off right now. I don't need these right now. Just focus on one of them. Upgrade. And then go to Upgrade. Yes. Proceed. And you can go show details to see the progression of the update. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this. And then load up Steam. All right, so we're back in Steam. Uh, and when I did my tutorial on what's new for Battlestar 33, I tried this game and got it up and running. However, after uh, Steam updated uh, to the latest version, when I tried to play this game again, it wasn't working at all. And I thought, what the heck? We had it working before, so what happened with the official Proton version? Well, as a result of that, that's when I discovered the Proton Community Bills, which is a non-official Proton Bill from the community. And through that community bill, I was able to get this game up and running once again. So, go to Steam to the top, go to Settings, go to Steam Play, uh, make sure you got this enabled. Enable Steam Play for supported titles. And then also in the bottom events, make sure you also select this, Enable Steam Play for all other titles. And then for Proton, originally we had this one working. This was the one that was working for practically almost all the games, right? But now we have this one right here. This is the one that works the best. These don't work, but they may work later on, so I decided to go ahead and just download them and then try them out later on, all right? But this is the one that seems to work the best. Proton 6.3-8 Community Bill, all right? Select OK. Then it's going to tell you, restart Steam. Go ahead and do that. 
It's going to be a soft boot. It's not going to reboot the whole system. Okay, so that's a soft reboot. Go ahead and close this out. Go back to my library. And I strongly suggest, because the audio is not going to work, just go ahead and exit the whole thing altogether, reboot your system, uh, and then load up Steam again. All right? So let's do that first. All right, so Steam has rebooted. And let me go ahead and show you some important facts, okay? So I have about 114 games in my library. From that list, about 27 games were Linux games, which means I don't have to do anything automatically with work with the Steam version of Batocera. Uh, and then I also had about 37 games, which were Windows games, okay? Not Linux games. Uh, and these games I got up and running when I used Proton. In fact, Proton 4.11-13. And that's how I got these games up and running. But there's also another list right here. It was actually about 50 games that could not get working no matter what I did, no matter what Proton version I use. That means under the old Steam version of Batocera, I had about 56% of the games working and 44% were not working. Still the majority, but nonetheless, 44% were not working. Now, with the community bill of Proton 6.3-8, turns out now I have... So now I have 32 games which are now working among those 50 games which were not working before. Using Proton Community 6.3-8. It's awesome. And only 18 of those games I could not get working at all. Uh, and they include some really old games like some of these old Star Wars games. Uh, and Crash. For some reason I cannot get Crash working at all. It's been really frustrating. But nonetheless, that means that from 114 games, 84% are not working. 16% do not work. That means that the vast majority of my games are working quite well without any problems. 84%. Again, very happy about those results. And I suspect as Steam continues to update its Proton and the community also continues to update their version of Proton, we're gonna see even greater success with these Windows games. So let's go ahead and test some games. So we have here one game that did not work before. Huh? Now, you can see it's gonna work quite well. You're not gaining any time in this traffic. Consider taking the joke of this lap. Well, you can see that Dirt 4 works quite well. Now we're going to try the mother of them all. God of War. Will it work in the Steam version of Batocera? Well, let's find out. They've never come this close to our woods before. 
keep moving. told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I went hunting with Mother a bunch of times. She never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. As you can see, the game absolutely works. Of course, how well it plays depends upon the computer system or your hardware. But it does work in the Steam version about the Zeta, and I'm so excited about that. I should also point out that for this game, none of the official Steam Proton's versions worked. Uh, in fact, right click on it, go into Properties, go into Compatibility, and make sure this is checked. And among these right here, it turns out, again, none of the official ones worked. Uh, not even the experimental one worked. Uh, these three did work, okay? Among these three, these two right here, the gamepad uh, did not work, even though the game did load up successfully. This is the only one where the game loads up and the gamepad works successfully, okay? So make sure you choose this one. And if you also want to revisit some of your old games, you want to make sure that you can try them out on the new community builds. Just again, click on the game, right click on it, go into properties, go into this right here, force, and then of course choose this one right here. Okay? And that's how it's done. So that's it. Try my trick with the Proton community builds, and you will be pleased to discover that the majority of your Steam games should now work in Batoseta. How awesome is that? Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Batocera Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel, as well as our website, BatoceraNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batocera is all about, and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Batocera. 
As a matter of fact, next time I might be covering the new HD texture packs for the PS2, but I haven't yet made my final decision. Nevertheless, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about this animation. Bye.